Yo, what's up, everyone? Boss, get up. This is Val Ramos, and today's DJ tutorial, we're going to discuss the power of the history folder within your Rekordbox DJ software. So one thing that I have recognized during DJ sets is sometimes you will stumble across magical moments within your set that maybe you performed on the fly or without even thinking. So it was not premeditated. You merely scan the audience, assess the crowd, and you selected the right tracks at the right time. And then more importantly, you mix several tracks together that you discovered by accident actually work very, very well together. So rather than trying to remember exactly what you performed and how you mix those tracks during the DJ set, what you can actually do is go into the history folder within your Rekordbox GTA software and find those exact tracks, highlight those tracks, and then use that for the future to actually perform a more premeditated set or a planned set list. And oftentimes this will only be about two to five songs, but sometimes these songs in chunks, they work very, very well together. And then you can use chunks of songs or clusters of songs to mix a more cohesive set in the future. So I'm going to show you my method for understanding this phenomenon when you accidentally discover songs that work well together. And so we'll go into Rekordbox DJ software and I'll show you how to discover these magical moments that you performed in your sets. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Val Ramos. And in today's tutorial, we're going to discuss the power of the history folder within Rekordbox DJ software. So a little primer about this, as I discussed in the intro, sometimes you will discover songs that work very, very well together by mistake or by accident or by happenstance while you're playing a live gig. Now, of course, there are premeditated or planned set lists, and then there's impromptu or freestyle set lists. In your first beginning, you may lean more towards the premeditated or planned set list, but as you become intermediate or advanced in your DJ skills, you will gravitate far more to the impromptu or freestyle set list. Unless, of course, you're playing a performance at a festival, which then you are probably going to be having a planned set list because your set list is actually choreographed with various special effects such as lighting and fire and smoke, etc. sounds at that gig. But for the sake of this tutorial, we are assuming that you are an intermediate or advanced DJ and that you have played some songs live, worked very, very well together. But rather than trying to remember those in your head or write them down in the middle of your set, what you can do is just go to your history folder. And this is a very underutilized and overlooked feature of Rekordbox DJ software. I know I actually rarely use this, and the only time I do use this is whenever I discovered tracks that work very, very well together in terms of genre, BPM, key, style, and energy levels. And then I can go back in history and, and recall, oh yeah, it was those five songs that work very, very well together. Let me remember this for the future. So recently I performed a gig in which I received direct feedback from the bar manager and owner that these songs were hitting and the audience was very much ecstatic about the music and they were, they were liking these tracks and everything was gelling and meshing. My brain was firing on all cylinders in terms of delivering this music and mixing the track together. So rather than trying to recall the music itself, I merely was able to go to my history folder. So if I go to my history folder down here, you will see history. I'm going to minimize this. So go to history and then you see all the years 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. So you can go in and you can recall an individual gig. Then this gig happened to be on Halloween. So you go to October and find this gig. But when you click on this history set list, it'll display all the songs you played on that given day or night. And then you can simply review those songs and then take what songs you need for the future in order to plan better set lists. Because as I said in the intro, oftentimes you'll discover songs that work well together in clusters. So if you develop little clusters, these clusters will form a much greater and more cohesive set list. So this is just one tool you can use. I definitely recommend Rather than running stuff down, you merely go back to your history folder and identify these songs, and then this should make you a better DJ in the future. So there you have it. That is my quick tutorial on the power of the history folder within the Rekordbox DJ software. Use this as a tool. It's very underutilized. I find myself only using this once every couple of months at most, because oftentimes these magical moments, they, they truly only occur 
every so often, they don't occur every night, but when you discover all sorts of songs that work really, really well together while you are playing a freestyle set list, and they go back in time and find this awesome music. All right, so there you have it. If you have any other tips or comments, please leave those in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Three, two, one, lose it.